<laughs> hey, what are you doing up here? <laughs> Who are you? Hi, Fi.
<laughs> Crap, I really get into this game. <laughs> You. Can we help you? <laughs> it's a cop. <laughs> it's a cop. 
Stop. Hi, 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 hi. Stop. Hello, hello, hello. Stop moving. Uh -oh, okay. Get against the wall, sir. Uh, what? Get against the wall. Why? Do you have any weapons on you? No. Okay. Get against the wall, please. Why? Alright. If you're gonna keep asking why, then we'll just cut straight to the chase and put you in handcuffs. What do you wanna do? Uh. Am I in trouble? Yes, you are, sir. Uh, we need to serve you a trespassing order from the city, so I need you to please comply. From the city? Yes. Uh, okay. Alright, so this wall, please. What were you doing down at that auto, sto uh, auto shop on top of the building? Howling. I'm doing nothing. Really? You're gonna lie to me too? I mean, I'm not lying to you. I'm just chilling. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. I mean, well, okay. I... Well, were you or were you not in the city at the auto shop on top of the buildings? Yes. Okay. We were called by the owner, and they want you trespass. Okay. Okay. So that's what we have to do. Have you taken any drugs today? No. Any alcohol? No. Really? No. What's up with the fox stuff? I, I'm a little crazy. Alright, are you gonna run off on us? No. Alright, can you face me? Yeah. And you take that mask off. I need to look at your eyes, make sure you're not intoxicated. Uh, I don't feel comfortable doing that. Okay, so then we have two options. I'm either gonna have to put you in handcuffs to do it, or you can do it yourself. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice here. At this time, I have reason to believe that you're in the influence of some sort of drug. Because you okay. are going crazy. Alright. That's not it. There you go. <laughs> Ellie, do you hear? <laughs> so, what are you up to, man? Do you usually go around doing this? <laughs> Sometimes. Okay. Um. <laughs> so, be honest with me. What's the point of this whole gig running around the fuck? Huh? I don't know. I I just gotta do it. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. I need to. Take you to the fire station, because we need to identify that you're the one from the station. Okay, what we'll end up doing here, okay, is I'm going to issue a criminal trespass warning, and I will let you go as long as you stop the fox stuff, okay? Uh, okay. Okay. Are you sleep deprived, or is something going on that I need to know about? <laughs> I'm just a little crazy. Alright. So, you want to... What I'm going to do... Is you need to put handcuffs on the front just because you're going to be in my vehicle, but I'm not placing you under arrest. You're just detained. I need them to identify you. I'll issue a citation. You'll be free to go. But I am going to also have probably do a psyche value, okay? 
Uh, okay. Just, just put your hands right in front of you, just together, and just put these on you. Okay. There we go. Okay, let me just. I'm just gonna guide you into my car. Do you have anyone I can call, like a parent or guardian or anyone? I have. I have a sibling, person. but I don't know where he's been. He's been gone for a few days, and I don't know where he went. Okay. Right, you, you, usually better. he takes care of me, but he's been gone, so I left. Okay, he takes care of you. Is that a local or is that somebody? It, it, it's somebody. Alright. <laughs> Take me, Val. Avenue, mild schizophrenia, and then Baby York, it was 8072. Your windows are tinted. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just gonna put your window down, okay? <laughs> oh, okay. No, let me go. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't that's help not... at all. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's the guy. Hi. What? I tried to talk to you, man. What's up? Uh, I was a fox. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, deputy. That's the guy. I didn't, I didn't know he had a bolo on him. So. Do you guys do psych emails or anything? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a question he's... for the medics. I have uh, no he, clue to be entirely honest. <laughs> right, I'll just check with him because he's great. He's out of his mind. Yeah, he's, he's been going around. Him. He's been going around parking and like a wolf on people's property. So he's been howling <laughs> in the whole nine yards. So, sorry. Any idea uh, his name is? <laughs> What's your name, man? Uh, Lepov. Man, spell on that for us. Uh, what is it? It's like a. It's a left L. It's a upwards A. It's that P. It, it, it's another upwards A, and then it's like a a a V V, like a a V, you know, like V. All right, do you have a surname as well, if not? Uh, Follock. Oh huh? Like 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 a bird, Follock. All right. Can you just confirm your age for me? Uh, I think they say I'm 19. They say you're 19? Yeah, they say. Can I ask who they is? The, the people, everyone! 
But in reality, I'm a fox, and I, I, I'm actually like 30. Alrighty, so you believe you're a fox, sir? Yeah, I'm a fox. When, when I have my okay. fox head, I am a fox, and I will, I will go around and survive. Alrighty, and uh, can you confirm where you live for us? Uh, I live where my, uh, my, my half-brother is. Alrighty, can you recite the, do, do you know where that residence is, like, street name or postal or? Uh, I, I just remember they put a number on it, it was like an 8072. Alrighty. Um, you mentioned, uh, having a half-sibling here? Yeah. Alrighty, I haven't seen him in a couple days. Alrighty, does he take care of you in any aspect or anyway? Yeah. He does. He does. He gives me food, What's he gives me shelter, and I get to live a house. Alrighty. And you said you haven't seen him in a few days? No, that's what- I, I left the house, so I- I- I, I would survive it. Alrighty. You got any type of medical conditions, any mental illnesses I need to be aware of, sir? I'm a little crazy. You're a little crazy, you said? Yeah. Alrighty. It mentions you've got mild schizophrenia on here. Would that ring any bells? I don't know. They just say I'm a little crazy. Alrighty, Mr. Boy. Um, so how, how long you been away from home? <laughs> I've been away from home since this morning. I ate some berries from a bush. Were you not able to grab anything from home? There's nothing left at home. Alrighty. Does your half sibling usually take care of all the shopping and all that? Yeah. Alrighty. Um, do you ever feel like someone's speaking to you but you can't see them, or do you ever see things that other people can't? Uh. I have one voice in my head, but that's about it. Is, and then uh, I have, I have, have, I have some like, I have some friends that, that live at the house, but, well, I don't get to see them much. Alrighty. You mentioned those friends, does your half-sibling know about them, or has he ever, you know, actually met them? Yeah, he met them. They, they, they're winged friends. Alrighty. Um, you mentioned a, a voice in your head? I mean... I, I guess it, it's called a conscience, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Does this conscious of voice have a name that he ever use? He speaks my thoughts. Alright, so if you think something, it kind of like, it's it's kind of like it speaks your thoughts to you. Yeah. Alrighty. So it, it doesn't have any say over what you do or anything that you do, say. Is it is it more of you in control, I'm assuming? I don't know. It just speaks my thoughts. It doesn't tell Alrighty. me anything, it just speaks my thoughts. Alright. Can I ask you a few more questions here and then we'll, we'll, we'll finish up, okay? Do you have any thoughts or have you ever attempted to self harm before? So have you ever felt like hurting yourself in any way? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I, I... I don't know. Have you ever... Have you ever had appointments with a psychiatrist or any type of mental health specialist? Is that what they call them? I don't know. Yeah, I have like one of these people who talk to me about stuff. Alrighty, and how regularly do you speak to them? I speak to them twice a week. Twice a week? Have you been keeping on top of those appointments yet? Uh, yeah. Alrighty. Do they give you any medication for uh, your mild schizophrenia or anything else? Yeah. Alrighty, have you been taking that medication? No. Alrighty, does your half-sibling usually hey, help you take that medication and kind of keep on track of that? Yes. Alrighty. Um, 
Do you mind me asking how the medication usually makes you feel? Does it make you feel, you know, a little, I can't know, a little be a less fox energetic? In... You can't be a fox if you take it? No, I can't be a fox. My mind doesn't allow it. Alright, so would you say that you feel a little more human in that when you Alrighty. take the medication? Take care. I guess. Yeah, me too. When you take the medication, are you able to do some of the things that your half sibling usually does for you, such as cook, you know, give you shelter, etc.? Yeah. Alrighty, but when you don't take the medication, you don't feel as capable of doing that yourself? I become my fox self. Alrighty. I have a fox side of me, and it lives within me, and I get to be a fox ever so often. But then my brother chases after me, and he tells me not to do that. Um, that does sum up the majority of my questions here, Mr. Pollock. Um, do you mind just uh, telling me the name of your half sibling, just so I can confirm it's your emergency contact? Uh, I, I think his name's uh, Xavier. Alrighty. Alright, well, I'm gonna give him a call and just let him know that you're, uh, you're safe right now, okay? Uh, I'm gonna have a quick chat with this, uh, Major Rosalie over here, okay? Uh, okay, I mean, I haven't, I still haven't seen my brother in a few days, I don't know where he is. Did he mention where he went, or if he was leaving? He just goes to work every now and then. He's a guard, and I haven't seen him since he took that new job. Um, would he by any chance be a Groovy Six guard, or like just a standard security? Like, he, he's just contract. He's like a he's like a contractor sort of thing. Right. But like, la the last contract he took, he didn't come back. Would you happen to know any details about that last contract, or where it was, you know, where he was supposed to go for work? He said he was supposed to go to a big mansion. A big mansion? Did yeah. mansion where? I don't know where. I, 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 right. I'm pretty sure it's next to the golf course. Alright. Maybe he, he's do sleeping there. Do you have there. a phone or anything that he contacts you on? Yeah. Has he sent you any type of contact, either calls, messages, anything like that? No. Does he usually keep you keep keep you updated when he's away? Yes. Alrighty. I'll have a chat with this um I'll have a chat with Major here and we'll see if we can possibly get in contact with him and we'll get more gear for you. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. Can I be Spread a fox again? Um yeah, as long as I mean as long as you're not attempting to harm yourself or anything like that, you're perfectly fine to just um be yourself, okay? Okay. Just gonna mind mind yourself, I'm just gonna close this door. <laughs> <laughs> God, this thing is stiff. Oh, I'll <laughs> shut it. Yeah, sorry, I'll let you do it. Alrighty, uh... Yeah, I'm confident we're getting a 51. We'll see, no reason to... Um, so... When I asked him about self-harm and whether he's wanted to harm himself in the past and all that... Um, he mentioned he wasn't too sure, so it's like he might have had some issues in the past. Um, hey, what are you doing back there, dude? What? He's bouncing the car up and down. Hey, just try and sit still for me, okay, Mr. Sit Pollock? Tight, dude. Okay. Yeah, from the sounds of it, he's been off his meds, which could explain why he's acting like this. Um, from the sounds of it, his half sibling is his primary carer, and when he's not taking his medication, he's not able to really look after himself, which is why he relies on his half sibling, which comes under to the individual being gravely disabled in a mental capacity. I don't believe he'd be able to look for shelter himself. I mentioned that, um, the, you know, since his brother left a couple of days ago um, and hasn't been in contact with her, he's, you know, his home place um, on San Andreas Avenue has run out of food, and, you know, he went to go and eat berries instead. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm definitely good to 5150 on the gravely disabled part. Um, in regards to himself being a danger to others, nothing there, but since he's gravely disabled, I'm fine with getting 5150. Um, I'm a little concerned. He also took him and went to the hospital or whatever, does that work? Yeah, you guys, you, you guys are good to take him down. I'm standing in med, you should be able to get a psychiatrist down there, and that works for you guys. Now that would mean that he's under medical custody and he can't leave? Um, so he will be on medical custody for 72 hours, yeah, they'll have to assess him and all that, uh, but they'll, they'll keep him on, they'll keep him under medical custody for definite. Yeah, cause he got he just got a round issue trespass warning too, which he'll probably not understand. Yeah. He doesn't yeah. have a guardian, does he? Uh, from the sounds of it, his emergency contact is his half-sibling, which is where my concern comes in from the sounds of it. His half-sibling acts in a, care a caregiving role, however, from the sounds of it, 
his, uh, his half-sibling has kind of just gone off the face of the planet. From the sounds of it, he usually keeps contact with them. Either if he's away from work, if he's away with work, he'll comp keep in contact with his messages or calls, etc. But apparently, two to three days ago, when his brother took a new contract for a mansion and a with a golf club attached to it, possibly in the city, um, he hasn't been in contact since, which is a little worrying. Um, so I'm not sure if something's happened there or whatnot. It just seems a little out. He's mentioned with the the whole pattern of how his brother is usually there for him. Okay. Might be worth looking into that though from your guys' side. Yeah, I'll take him down to the hospital. We're gonna serve him the trespass warning. He understands. Mm -hmm. Um. We'll go from there. Because he's literally trespassing his property and making these weird noises. So. Yeah. It's clearly not safe to be out here. He is on medication, so I'll. Uh, I'm, you've got his name, right? <laughs> Yeah, just give that name to them, they'll be able to get his um, prescriptions and all, and then get something issued down there, and then hopefully he should be a little more sound of mind for anything. If not, they'll assign him an appropriate adult, um, probably he's a psychiatrist in question. So if yeah, you do need anything explained, just give it to the psychiatrist and they should be able to, you know, uh, convey that across in terms he understands. Um, right. Other than that though, yeah, you're good. Yeah, this guy's shit. I'm gonna get a sick belt on, and... Gonna have you sign at the bottom here just to state that I've left him in your custody to get uh, checked out. Saves us having to transport him. Alrighty. Yep. Alright, um, if anything does pop up that you need to spot, just give us a shout. Yep, we'll do. Alrighty. See <laughs> <laughs> Hey, can you get back on the seat, please, sir? Uh, yeah. I'll oh, put your seatbelt on, that way you don't fall in the crack there. On the way down. Get you down to the uh. Alrighty. Okay. Not already. Down into it, sir. Hey, you got you can't be doing that when I'm driving, dude. Okay. Put me in route, Sandy. Medical center. Hold. I fire. <laughs> So are you just very antsy? I guess. I like being a fox. I get you like being a fox, but you're gonna get yourself into trouble <laughs> if you do it like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because if you're a fox, it's fine, but if you're climbing on other people's property and making noises, you're gonna get in trouble. Uh, okay. So you do understand that that Luna's out of the shop at nine zero. You're not allowed back there, okay? I don't know what that was, but I, I guess it was a little. Well, I asked you earlier, and you said you. I mean, I know there. where the the thing is. I don't know. I didn't know it was an auto shop. Yeah, that place you're at is an actually, it's a operated auto shop, Luna's Auto Shop, at 9054, okay? Uh, okay? They don't want you coming back there. So when we get down to Medical Center, I turn you up, I have to have you sign at the bottom of this little paper. Okay, can I be a fox again? Can you be a fox again? Yeah, I want to be a fox again. Uh, probably not, because medical is taking you into a hole, meaning you're not allowed to leave right now. I'm still going to be a fox again. Yeah, that's fine, you can be a fox, but you're not allowed to leave until they allow you to, okay? Okay. Because if you run out of the hospital without permission and elude that, then you're gonna... Then you're really gonna be put in a facility, and if it's gonna be a lockdown, it's... You're not gonna be able to leave. Mm. So I don't want that to happen, so just make sure you listen to the people in here, okay? Okay. Wait, can I see my brother again? 
I don't know who your brother is, and I don't know where he's at. He was working at a mansion the other day. Huh. I'm not sure. But, Nate, you can talk to the medical guys here. They can give him a call. Okay. Okay. You can come down here real quick, just face me. Okay, I'm gonna have you sign this. What? What is it? This is a trespass warning from Luna's Auto Shop at 9054. You're not allowed back. If you are seen back there, uh, police department will be called and you'll be placed under arrest, so please just avoid that area, okay? Okay. Did you, can you sign up for me, please? Huh? Oh, yeah. You do understand what that means, though, right? I think. What does it mean? Can you explain? Uh, they don't want me there. They're basically saying that you cannot go back to their property at 9054 at that auto shop. Okay, I'm not the one that makes the decision. At the end of the day, anyone can trespass for any reason, so... Alright, let me get you up here in uh, the medical center, okay? Okay. Ooh, that's a vehicle. It's a vehicle. Wow, that's cool. Hey. Hey, I need you to go in the medical it's center, cool. please. It's cool. It's cool. In the medical center, please. Hi. Sir. Hi. Lepav, I'm going to put you back in handcuffs. Hi. Go up there, please. Okay. Please. <laughs> All right, come to the front desk and uh, let me check you in and they're going to come take care of you, okay? Okay. <laughs> Alright, they're gonna take you back there, they're going to get your medication, and once you uh, take your medication and they rule that you're safe to go back into Canada, they'll let you go, okay? Okay. But you gotta wait until they treat you, give your medication, and once you're good to go, okay, they'll let you leave, but until then you gotta stay, okay? Alright. Straight through those double doors, alright, Lefebvre? So, uh, take care, let's not be on these uh, standards uh, again, okay? Uh, okay, bye. Bye.